our Father and our God in the name of Jesus Christ I come to you O Lord in the name of Jesus Christ thanking you for your goodness and for your faithfulness God we acknowledge your presence in our midst in our lives We acknowledge, Lord, that it is you who is blessing us even for this day. Thank you for answering our prayers for the good night rest, for preserving our lives. Thank you for my family, loved ones, friends, and relatives. Thank you for blessing us in all aspects of our lives. Today, O oh God, I will trust you that this day will be another day for us to enjoy your goodness and faithfulness, your presence, provision, and protection. May this day, O oh Lord, as we remember what the Lord Jesus Christ has done through your grace and mercy and power thank you for we can uh, seek your guidance seek your will and purpose for our lives maraming salamat Lord for today bless your people I declare blessings upon blessings spiritual and heavenly blessings for all of your people especially Lord mga dumadaan dito sa programa and those who are still connected up to this time praying for strength continuous good health para sa kanila at sa kanilang bawat pamilya maraming salamat Lord for I can pray for your provision presence protection that these blessings will continue to manifest in their lives I am declaring blessings for Andrew and Kinan Ministry with all members, with their families and children. Continuous good health, blessings of strength for those who are preparing for work today at nasa trabaho na. Make them Lord conscious of your presence and thank you because you are there for them. Also for those who are coming home from work this morning. Praying God that you will guide them, strengthen them, and as they take rest this morning, this day, renew their strength for another night shift. Maraming salamat, Lord, for I can pray also for the missionaries in the field, missionaries around the globe, with their families, especially for their children, for the students. We are praying God, declaring for your blessings. That they will have a strong motivation to study well and finish uh, the course. Thank you, Lord, for we can trust you for our upcoming activities uh, this coming uh, Sunday with all evangelical, with all churches that lifting up the holy name, worshiping you in spirit and in truth, churches that commemorate. Uh, the passion of Christ, the blessings that we receive from you. Thank you, God, for I can declare your blessings, oh God. Individually, those who need your grace and mercy, reveal yourselves to them for the salvation of their soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare salvation for your people, especially Lord na Pilipinas. Praying for our Philippines. God bless Philippines with all churches. Churches, Lord, that worship you in your spirit and in truth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat. Lord, today, we will trust you for guidance and wisdom as we encourage one another. Maraming salamat, Lord, for this time we can entrust our lives into your cares in the name of Jesus Christ Amen
Good morning, good morning, good morning mga partners. Welcome to our program sa mga ngayon lang nakakonek. God bless you. Maraming maraming salamat na indyan kayo. Have a blessed Thursday to all. God bless you mga partners. Regards dyan sa inyong pamilya. Nandito tayo to declare blessings upon blessings sa lahat na kikinig at sa mga dumadaan. And for all our partners, today, no, uh, holiday dyan sa Pilipinas. Enjoy your holiday and may you continue to uh, be conscious of your the presence of God. Maraming salamat. Good morning, good morning everyone and God bless you. Well, mga partners, today is Thursday, March 28. In the name of Jesus Christ, declaring God's blessings upon blessings para sa kanyang lahat. Mamayang 7.30, mga partners, uh, we will read our daily Bible uh, reading passage sa Psalm 143 na tayo, mga partners. And we will use this psalm as an entry point uh, leading to the reflection on the seven saying of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are now on our fourth um, saying. So, maybe on Saturday, uh, for the 5th, 6th, 7th, on Saturday, gawin natin yung dalawang sayings. Or, ngayon siguro, we will reflect na dalawa. Okay, dalawang sayings, 4th and 5th, and then bukas, kasi uh, Friday naman bukas. Usually, ginagawa natin yung last uh, words of the Lord Jesus Christ Friday, no? Diyan sa Pilipinas. So, today, we will reflect on the two sayings, 4th and 5th, 6th and 7th bukas. Well, mga partners, I hope you can stay tuned as we pray for um, mga prayer requests ng ating mga partners. And as we read messages... Uh, praises, thanksgiving, morning greetings, and words of encouragement sa ating mga partners. Sana mananatili kayo hanggang matapos tayo and you can do, continue to do house chores o anong ginagawa nyo. Just leave your cell phone beside you kung saan maririnig nyo lang ako. Well, mga partners, good morning and God bless you at maraming salamat muna kay Sister Rebecca Cabrera, Pastora Henny, Sister Aida, and Brother Dodong Habilies. Ayan, ayan sila mga partners nag-share sa ating programa today. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Good morning and welcome to our program Morning Prayer and Praise. Brought to you by Anjo and Hekinan Ministry and on behalf of, of the leadership and members of this church, we want to say thank you uh, for the partnership and for praying with us and for us. Have a blessed Thursday and on behalf of my family together with my wife, Pastora Ethel and our son TJ, God bless everyone. Thank you for praying for us and with us and for the partnership na mayroon tayo dito. Have a blessed Thursday, everyone. God bless you with His presence, provision, and protection. Ayan, mga partners, may mga morning greetings tayo at may mga kasama na tayo online na kikinig sa atin. Unahin natin yung morning greetings ni Brother Dodong Habilies. Brother Dodong, siguro si Brother Dodong Habilies is moving now sa kanyang gawain. Brother Dodong, sabi niya, good morning Pastor Family and to all prayer partners. Ayan. Maraming salamat, Don. Thank God for your life and ministry natin dyan sa Hekinan. God bless you. Kumusta mga bata? Regards dyan sa inyong lahat. God will continue to take care of you. 
God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Also, good morning to all prayer partners. Another new day God has given to us. Mayo Buntag, Pastor Gilbert and family. Greetings coming from Ate Judith Quadra. Ate, good morning, good morning. Kumusta dyan sa Australia? Uh, malamig pa ba? Anong season nila dyan? Thank God for your life, Ate, as alive sa inyong mga anak. Faithful and now you're enjoying Uh, the presence of God in other part of the world. We are rejoicing with you at the Judith Quadra. God bless you. Mayo buntag din sa inyong lahat. Regards dyan sa inyong lahat. Good morning, good morning din dyan kay Leo Labonita. Brother Leo Labonita, good morning at mayo buntag. Regards ka ninyo dia. And maraming salamat for I can declare blessings upon blessings sa inyong family. Amen to God be all the glory. Yan ang sabi ni Brother Leo Labonita. Good morning din at Eliza. Good morning and a blessed Thursday, Pastor, family, and to all prayer partners. Good and din ginoo sa kanunay. Sister Eliza Espinosa, maraming salamat for this morning greetings. Uh, praises. Regards diha sa inyong tanan. God bless you. And also, si Pastor Henny Montes Claro. Mayang buntag, Pastor Gil and family and all faithful prayer partners. May our day ahead be blessed and victorious. Amen. Glad to be joining again today. Mayang buntag. Regards dyan sa inyong lahat. Kay DMS Larry. God bless you, Pastor Henny. And enjoy your holiday. God bless you. Also, good morning, Pastor and family. Coming from... Uh, Sister Rebecca Cabrera. God bless you, Sister Rebecca Cabrera. Regards din dyan sa inyo. And more of God's goodness and faithfulness will continue to manifest in your lives. Ayan mga partners, si Kuya Renner Alabarca. My morning greetings para sa atin. Good morning din, Kuya Renner Alabarca. The Alabarca's family. Ayan, yung mga partners, si Ate Teresita Alabarca, no? Uh, maagang maaga siya pumupunta sa work yung shift niya today or this week or this month maagang maaga 7 o'clock nasa trabaho na siya or umaalis na siya so hindi na siya makapag uh, join sa atin but si Kuya Renner is listening to us God bless you Kuya regards niya sa inyong lahat to God be the glory pastor ayan maraming salamat at Judy Quadra Thanking God with you for His goodness and faithfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God for another new day to experience His love and amazing grace. Yan ang sabi ni Sister Arl Hardison. A blessed Holy Thursday, Pastor and family, and to all prayer partners. Maraming salamat, Sister Arl Hardison. God bless you. At regards dyan sa inyong lahat. And uh, God will continue to sustain you. Enjoy your holiday. Maraming salamat. Sabi pa ni Pastor Henny, thank you, Pastor Gil, uh, for your declaration of God's blessings. Doubly to you and your family. Amen. Claiming it in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Raheni, maraming maraming salamat. So mga partners, tomorrow during sa inyong uh, tawag dito, Good Friday worship, no? you will be listening uh, messages. Uh, mostly the on the seventh saying. So ginawa natin yan with a suggestion and uh, thank God for Ate Aida. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, nagawa natin yung first three sayings. Today, we'll be doing the fourth and the fifth saying. Namayang 7.30. We will reflect on that. And I will trust the Lord that He will reveal Himself to us with some lessons, uh, principles, truth as we meditate. No? The fourth and fifth saying is Young uh, Young Fort, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
and uh, the fifth I thirst I thirst medyo um, uh, may mga idea na nagrarun tumatagbo sa isip ko but mamaya uh, maganda ito maganda ito because I've been reflecting to this uh, saying and God will lead us and impart us wisdom understanding as we meditate well mga partners uh, 7.28 in the morning dito sa Japan 6.28 na dyan sa inyo maraming salamat kumusta dyan sa sa Buanga Peninsula may ulan na daw accordingly and kumusta kaya ang weather ngayon sa throughout the Philippines uh, nevertheless God is there to provide our needs and uh, has, he has been sustaining his people you know, with uh, grace and mercy uh, kahit El Nino tag and his people are still enjoying God's blessing and His presence. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners and uh, today uh, maraming ano tawag dito iba-iba iba-iba ang pinupuntahan ng mga tao We just hope and pray na tawag dito. God will just take care of them as they reflect the goodness and the faithfulness of God and enjoy the holiday. God will uh, guide them and uh, empower them that they could reflect the goodness and faithfulness of God and enjoy the presence of God. Iyon ang prayer natin para sa lahat. Nagbabakasyon. And God also will be glorified sa kanilang paglalagpay. Okay mga partners, uh, balikan lang natin kung may mga prayer concerns, greetings, and uh, praises sa ating comment section. It's 7.30, 6.30 dyan sa Pilipinas. Uh, we will start our devotional by reading uh, a Psalm of David, so 143. Medyo, uh, this Psalm has 12 verses. And we will make this an entry point on sa ating reflections uh, fourth and fifth say beginning verse 1 mga partners of Psalm 143 Lord hear my prayer listen to my cry for mercy in your faithfulness and righteousness come to my re- relief come to my relief Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous for you. No one living is righteous for you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what you have, what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring my word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, 
for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit, may your good spirit lead me on level ground for your sakes or for your name's sake. Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Amen. Psalm of David, Psalm 143. So, kung naalala niyo mga partners, mayroon din yung Psalm, no? Book of Psalm na Psalm 22. Yung prayer din ni David, tapos uh, dumating yung panahon, sinabi niya rin, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Mababasa yan sa Psalm 22. Pwede natin yung going reference natin. Cross reference natin for uh, the meditation. Um, considering the book of Psalm, uh, mayroon din siyang mga messianic uh, scriptures when we say messianic scriptures uh, yung tawag dito sinasabi dito sa psalm and then fulfilled also in the life of uh, Jesus Christ during the time of uh, Jesus Christ So, yun ang prayer ni Haring David, mga partners, in sa Psalm 143, ang prayer niya that God will listen to him. And uh, his spirit also fails. No, si David feeling yeah, that God was hiding his face towards him. Meron din feeling si Haring David kanyan. And my prayer din siya that God will teach him to do God's will. Bilang Panginoon ng kanyang buhay, David was also desiring that God will help them and teach him to do God's will. And doing his will will keep him keep his feet to the ground, making him humble. And nanjan din yung puso niya na didismaya din si David. Pero in his dismay, he always remember the days and meditates doon sa gawain ng Panginoon. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. And uh, ito mga partners, uh, yung word I thirst for you like a parched land. Itong word thirst, gagamitin natin yan mamaya. 
yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ I thirst so si Haring David mga partners in general sa kanyang being human like us kung ano mang nararanasan natin struggles difficulties in life naranasan ni Haring David yan mga partners and so this uh, prayer of David like human pwede natin itong i-point out dito sa seven saying of the Lord Jesus Christ being human yung pains na nararanasan ni Haring David nararanasan din ni Jesus Christ yung feeling yung mararamdaman mo yung sakit kung nararamdaman mo yung may pumalo sa iyo nararamdaman ni Jesus Christ yan in human form just imagine Jesus Christ was beaten, flogged, uh, mugged, and many other things that the Lord Jesus Christ experienced. Now, try to imagine uh, buhay siya in a flesh like us today. Imagine the pain. Naalala mo, mga partners, yung bata pa tayo every time na may mag-aatake sa atin animal man yan mag-away sa atin o ano we always hide no inahanap natin yung corner or we hide in our mother or kung sinong nagdadala sa atin kay ate ba kay uncle tito papa we cling to them no for security ah uh, sino nakakakandanda sa atin doon tayo ah uh, na feel secured no naalala niyo ba yon mga bata tayo mga partners we need companion yung mas nakakatanda sa atin so as we were growing up nagiging independent na tayo kung nagiging independent na tayo mga partners na mamatay na yung wala na tayo nagiging ulila na tayo independent na tayo nowhere to run like nobody to run and lean on like our father and mother hindi ba mga partners so the ultimate cry that we could cry si God No, si God ngayon nasa Panginoon ka na you imagine yourselves no? growing up naging ulila nasa Panginoon na tayo ngayon like David may mga times din na feeling niya malayo talaga ang Panginoon There were times feeling niya God was silent. There were times feeling niya God has forsaken him. So you see mga partners, no? Feeling natin mga partners paminsan-minsan sa mga bagay, bagay feeling lang natin yon. kaya when we feel something like we are abandoned so syempre magtatanong tayo magtatanong tayo like David my God, my God why have you forsaken me so bago pa man sinabi ito ni Jesus Christ mga partners si Haring David may expression na ganyan My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me? And from the words of my roaring. Ganon yun, mga partners. No? 
I believe na David was ulila na rin that time. Si God na lang ang kanyang sandigan. Now, look at the Lord Jesus Christ in human form. Ano bang purpose bakit nagpakatao ang Panginoon through the person of Jesus Christ? Alam niyo mga partners, God is a spirit. By His word, He created everything that we could see, that we can see today. By His word. He is a spirit being, an eternal being, who made everything by His word. So, with that concept, mga partners. Mararanasan ba ng Panginoon? Would He be able to feel what human flesh feels? Spiritu siya. And then, alam niya, alam niya yung weakness ng mga tao. Alam niya. But for him to really feel how it is to be hit, how it is to be mocked, speed, flog, beaten, he has to become a human being. And human being must be punished for their sins. Now, if, if literally, because of the disobedience of human being, everyone will turn to dust, Now, what will happen, mga partners, if no one will sacrifice for them? In one point, in one point, without God, human being, pwede na nilang gawin kung anong gusto nilang gawin. Inhabitants will, will not take long in this earth. But because God intervened in the activity of human race. He intervened by giving hope to the human race. Giving meaning the existence of man. Si Lord pa rin ang gumawa. Si Lord pa rin ang gumawa. So in that concept also, God became man in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sa internet ba, may nagtatanong, bakit kailangan pa ba ang Panginoon maging tao? Hindi ba? So, ang tao talaga ang may kakayahan to speak. Ang tao talaga may kakayahan to think. Ang tao talaga may kakayahan to improve uh, living. You know, to improve how they live. Ang tao talaga ang may kakayahan. And that is why God loves the world, the people. So he has to be like us and be with us so that he can feel, he can understand, and he can he can feel the ob- the obedience you know, the response of the people now in Philippians 2 mga partners 
in the person of Jesus Christ. Sabi doon, ah, basahin natin yung Philippians 2. Ha? Philippians chapter 2. Ito. Let this be in you, which is also in Christ. Being who? Being in the form of God. God, ha? Huh? Though it not robbery to be equal with God. Robbery talaga ang sinulat dito. Oh. Ano? Anong King James Version, no? Oh. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Yo, yun si God, no si Jesus Christ, my all the deity, no he has the deity of being God, but he what denied himself. He denied himself. He made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. So, yun mga partners. Ha? Si Jesus Christ yun. God Himself. Si Jesus Christ mismo. He humbled Himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Now, you imagine ngayon, doon sa Calvary the one who is hanging or if the three of them no, who were hung crucified three of them they were what? all three human form in human form kaya nga iba-iba yung mga responses nila eh. the one thief mocked Jesus the other one accepted and acknowledged Jesus as the Messiah the Savior and Jesus himself ang response niya sa sitwasyon ang response niya sa sitwasyon katulad ni David because he was in a human form Kaya na uso yung expression no yung sa Pilipinas yung expression and other parts iba-iba lang language no may nakiki may nakitang sunog sasabihin na ay jusko jusko bakit mo pinabayaan yung ganun <laughs> Naalala niya yung mga partners ganyan Lokoh 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 Lord bakit yan bakit nangyari yan Oh di ba Immediate reaction, mga partners, when you are in pain, you are in pain as human. You are in pain. Ano ang sasabihin mo? Sino naman ang tatawagan niya? Si Jesus Christ. Hindi niya naman pwede sasabihin, Mother, Mother, kasi nandoon naman si Mary. Mother, Mother, why have you forsaken me? Bakit mo ako pinabayaan nandito? May kakayahan ba si Mary? May kakayahan ba si Mary to comfort him that time? To let him understand? Si Lord pa rin. Why? At that time, Jesus Christ in human form anak siya ng Panginoon anak ng Panginoon in human form eto na eto na eto na mga partners here is the truth boom na realize ko pwede pala maging anak ng Diyos even you are in human form or human condition ito this is the example 
Jesus Christ in human form, but he called God Father. Father, my God, my God. Eloi, Eloi, laba sabachthani. Now, to think Jesus Christ, he denied himself being God and took the form of a servant willing to die, even dying on the cross. Yun ang tandaan natin, mga partners. Bakit nakasabi siya o nakasigaw siya, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, another truth. Yung truth kanila mga kanina partner, no? Pwede pala magiging anak ng Diyos even in a human form ang individual. You can be a daughter or a son of God even you are in a human form. And you can call God your Father. Yun ang immediate reaction. Kung nasasaktan na ang physical being. So another thing, this is an example that God the Lord Jesus Christ giving an example sa mga tao. Mm-hmm. Ayun, ito, maganda to eh. This is an example that a human being can call God in times of pains, trouble. Example ito, mga partners. Itong sinabi ni Jesus Christ, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Pinapakita ito, mga partners, that human being can have a relationship with God who is a spiritual being. Ito yung truth na nakita ko today as I reflect. Human being can call God his father. Human being can have a relationship with God as son and father relationship. Kaya pala nakapagsabi si Jesus Christ, I and my father are one. Ito mga partners, may nakita akong video sa Facebook. Isang Muslim preacher pinipilit niyang sa i-answer ang isang tao na God and Son. No? Sabi niya, o oh, ito, tinanong niya sa isang tao, si God is another person. Isa yon. Tapos si Jesus Christ, sino? God ba rin siya? Sabi ng tao, yes, God pa rin siya. Sabi ng isang Muslim teacher, hindi. God na nga yung nasa taas. Tapos si Jesus Christ, God pa rin. So, dalawa na. So, si Jesus Christ, God pa rin. Alam niyo mga partners, with that argument, nag-comment ako. Tinanong ko siya. Ito yung tanong ko sa kanya, sa comment ko. Sabi ko, kung tatanongin kita, tatay mo ay tao, ano kaya ang sasagot, sasagutin niya? Of course, sasabihin niya, tao. 
And then my next question is, since tatay mo siya, ikaw anak niya, tao ka rin? Eh, Siyempre, tao, di ba mga partners? Diba? Ganun lang yun kasimple. O kayo mga nakikinig. Ang tatay nyo ay tao. Of course, ikaw tao rin bilang anak. Hindi ba? Ganun lang pala kasimple. Philosophy lang mga partners. No? Kasi mga philosophy man sila. So, if God, the Father is God, and Jesus is the Son of God, eh ano si Jesus? God. Ano bang tawag dyan? Logic? Argument? Ano bang tawag dyan? Hypothesis? Or basta philosophy? Ganun lang pala mga partners. Itong cry ni Jesus Christ, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Nagpapakita lang mga partners. Si God has to turn his back toward his son. Dahil alam ng Diyos Ama ang kanyang plano dahil mahal niya tayo. His son has to die for our sins dahil mahal tayo ng Diyos Ama. He has to turn his back. Iiwan niya. Dahil alam niya ang pagkamatay ni Jesus Christ. Bayad ng mga kasalanan ng mga tao. So, the Lord has to turn his back towards sin. I mean, i-deny niya yung mga kasalanan. That's why nangyari yun. With that expression, nagkaroon tayo ng pag-asa because somebody had died. Somebody has died for our sins. And it was Jesus Christ. It was Jesus Christ. Now, the next is I thirst. I thirst. Do you remember mga partners yung Jesus Christ encountered the Samaritan woman? Anong hiningi niya kay Samaritan woman? Water. Don't so well water to drink to survive. So, by that time, mga partners, alam ni Jesus Christ, human being needs water to survive. Animals also needs water to survive. In that conversation, water is very important to survive. And by saying, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, I thirst. Another form or another feeling ng isang human being. I thirst. Of course, balikan natin yung sinabi ni dito sa Philippians. He took the form of a servant and was made in likeness of men. A servant and was made in likeness of men. Nagpakatao. Being uh, found in fashion as a man. Huwag natin kalimutan mga partners ha? para hindi tayo malito. Bakit? Sinabi niya yun. Who being in the very nature God, 
did not consider equally with God something to be used to his own advantage. Kasi kung mananatili siyang God on the cross, marami siyang pwedeng gawin. Baka mamaya, susundin niya yung Uh, request ng isang criminal pero hindi talaga mangyari yun you remember when Satan tempted Jesus hindi nagbigay si Jesus Christ doon pa sa last moment alam niya bakit nandoon siya alam ni Jesus Christ bakit nangyari yun sa kanya now Uh, who being in a nature of God did not consider equally with God something to be used to his own advantage rather made himself nothing taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man He humbled himself to become obedient to death, even death on the cross. Sinabi niya lang yung I thirst. Dahil na, nauuhaw talaga siya. Nauuhaw talaga siya. Pero anong significance dyan? I thirst. Being human na uuhaw talaga ang human being. Excuse me mga partners, no? Medyo malamig pa, disturbing pa yung nose natin and throat. So being human na uuhaw talaga ang human being. Tao na uuhaw. Ang significance dito mga partners, Jesus Christ or in that moment, my message yon. Jesus Christ has to feel thirsty because he was in a human form and pinapakita niya naman that ang tao will get thirsty. So in other words, human being need water to survive even human so in our spiritual being mga partners we need also in our being as spiritual being we have this spiritual being we become thirsty so Jesus Christ is the living water Jesus Christ is the living water you remember yung doon sa conversation nila with the Samaritan woman whoever drinks this water will never thirst again so with that conversation sabi ni Jesus Christ I thirst doon sa Calvary Anong relation doon? Talagang nagtithirst ang mga tao. So, in that last day of the Lord Jesus Christ being man, He still emphasized that people will experience thirst. And to quench their thirst, they need the Lord Jesus Christ, the living water. Ikaw daw mga partners, kung nauuhaw ka, hindi mo sasabihin na uuuhaw ka. Remember, Jesus Christ was hanging doon sa cross in human form 
in human form. Kaya na how siya. But the significance and message doon, He was directing us, telling us, mauuhaw din kayo. Mauuhaw din kayo at mag-uuhaw din kayo palagi. But remember, parang sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, remember the story of the well with him and the Samaritan woman. The water that Christ is giving when they have that Christ, the living water, they will not be thirsty again. Another significance and implication, mga partners, when you are with Christ through faith, God will always fill you. You will never be thirsty again. Yon ang pinopoint. We need Jesus Christ, the living water. Dahil tayo, mga human, we feel thirsty. But if we have Jesus Christ, our life especially spiritual aspect of our lives will never be thirsty again because Jesus Christ the living water sabi niya whoever drinks this water will never thirst again yon ang significance doon mga partners why Jesus Christ say i thirst truth human being can have relationship with God even God is the spirit through faith in his son Jesus Christ human being can have relationship as Father and Son through Jesus Christ and while living in human form sons and daughters of God in human form we become thirsty but is spiritually we are always filled and satisfied with the living water who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Why we are enjoying today being conscious of God's presence, being conscious of who God is in our lives with the knowledge and understanding sino si Lord paano tayo naging re- nagkaroon ng relationship ni Lord thinking of all these things it is our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ the high priest who can present us faultless blameless into the presence of God. I hope mga partners as we have we are reflecting of this truth We can live as children of God as what we are living now. Living as children of God in human form. Having that relationship with God 
children of God in human form. So these things are made possible because of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In Him we have the forgiveness, redemption. We are cleansed by His blood. And we have the righteousness of God. And we are now living by faith. The righteous will live by faith. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ who died for the penalty of our sins. He buried our sins in the grave and left the grave victoriously. And we can have that victory in Christ Jesus. We are more than conquerors. God is for us. Who can be against us? Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Whatever other experiences, whether good and bad, God can turn those experiences into good for them that love Him. Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Mga partners, how are you by this time? I hope you're following and... <laughs> I will trust the Lord that God has revealed Himself to us some principles that we can live with. God bless everyone. Well, mga partners, once again, good morning, good morning, good morning. Maraming salamat na andyan pa kayo. It's 8.15 na. Medyo na overtime tayo ng konti. Anyway, God has blessed us with His presence. And God is blessing us with His provision, love, goodness, and kindness. Maraming salamat sa inyo mga partners. Nandyan kayo nakikinig. Thank God for your lives. God bless you at ang iyong buong pamilya. Mga partners, may mga uh, partners pa tayo konektado ngayon and with morning greetings. Ayan. And also, uh, prayer requests. Uh, our God is worthy of our praises and adoration. Blessed morning, Pastor and prayer partners. God bless you. Maraming salamat, Sister Aida. God bless you too. And also si Maynel Dingal. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning din sa iyo, Maynel Dingal. God bless you and regards dyan sa inyong family. Ito mga partners, sa uh, my prayer request tayo. Coming from Pastor Aheni Montesclaro. Babasahin muna natin ito mga partners and declare blessings. Pastor Gil and all prayer partners, may I encourage you again to pray for our district activities. We will conduct virtual orientation via Zoom meeting on Saturday and VBS materials for the month of April, June. Uh, this afternoon, 2 p.m. and on April 1, same time. Let's declare God's favor upon this activity. There will be no power and signal interruptions. This will be well attended by Z and kids ministers in all local churches of NCMD. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for the district CE core team. Thank you for your prayers. To God be the glory. Thank you for your prayers and God blessing. And blessings overload to one and all. Hallelujah. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the ministry that you have entrusted for Pastor Henny with the district ministry team, especially with the CE core team, as they will be having the Zoom meeting and orientation for uh, the ministry, especially kids and CE ministry. I pray, O oh God, for this uh, meeting via Zoom will be fruitful and productive we declare that no intervention of uh, our interruption no power and signal interruption may it be lord that time a strong internet uh, will be provided and uh, stable power supply Maraming salamat, Lord, for these things I can entrust into your cares, praying and declaring wisdom and understanding for the facilitators and learners. All these things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, good morning din muna dyan kay Joshua Kawaguchi. Jo, enjoy your holiday. Regards all you needs. God bless you. Thank you for the morning greetings. Regards Ali Kanila. Sister Arles, thank you for praying with us. And thank you for that uh, response, Sister Eliza. God bless you. Maraming maraming salamat. Ito, mayroon pa tayong isa coming from Vilma Vinuya. Blessed Thursday, Holy Week, Uncle Pastor. Thank you for all. We are all fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Sa Diyos ang papuri at pasasalamat sa sobrang init dito sa Pangasinan. But God pours out rain, heavy rain para ibsa ng init. Enjoy everyone out there, family, upon celebrating Holy Week. Happy Easter this coming Sunday. To God be all the glory. Thank you for praying for us. Call God will anoint you and bless you and take care of you always and your family. Maraming maraming salamat being, you know, si Vilma Vinduya. God bless you and enjoy your holiday also. Reflecting the goodness and faithfulness of God. Yes, mga partners, happy holiday and have a blessed Thursday to all. Maraming salamat. Thank you for joining sa ating programa praying with us thank you for praying for us God bless you with all these morning greetings babasahin muna natin mga partners yung mga partners na dumaan sa atin at nag-iwan ng reaction perhaps some of uh, you are still connected hanggang ngayon God bless you and more of God's goodness and faithfulness will continue to manifest in your lives with hearts reaction Henny L.M., Pink Judilia, Judith Quadra, Vilma Vinuya, Aida Perpetua, Helen Subido, Leola Bonita, Arl Hardison. With likes or thumbs up reaction, Dodong Habilias, Will You, Barry Alfaro, Raul Francisco, Mainel Dingal, Jade Kaligner. Yun ang mga partners na dumaan sa atin at nag-iwan ng reactions. The Lord bless you and make his face to shine upon you and give you peace the peace that passes all understanding will guard your heart ayan sa mga konektado pa ngayon maraming maraming salamat sa inyo enjoy your holiday at maraming salamat sa ating partnership dito sa programa morning prayer and praise so it's 8.21 na mga partners no? maraming maraming salamat it's we are about to go may all those prayer requests O Lord as we have entrusted those concerns into your cares uh, be answered accordingly because in your time you make all things beautiful I am praying and declaring blessings upon your people in the name of your son Jesus Christ maraming maraming salamat Lord for the wisdom and understanding how you have been providing our needs and for your goodness and faithfulness i continue to declare blessings upon the blessings for your people sa aming bawat ministry sa bawat church bawat uh, members and with leaders with their children we continue to declare good health para sa lahat 
and also praying for Bishop Ed Cahes with Sir Don uh, Dulaca. Uh, I just do not know kung anong oras ang flight nila today. Uh, flight nila today for Japan. Kung today, uh, Thursday, no Thursday. So most probably, they are preparing for uh, their flight coming to Japan. God entrusting them into your cares as you have been faithful in preserving their lives in providing uh, safe travel and the same God same love I know you will manifest because you are the same yesterday today and forever more of your goodness and faithfulness sino pa man mga kasama niya oh Lord kasama nila in com- coming to Japan bless them Thank you for providing their needs, especially Lord, you are on time, you know, for the visa ni Bishop Ed Cahes. We are looking forward for a very fruitful and God-glorifying one activity or joint Easter worship service on March 31. Maraming maraming salamat Lord for this concern I can entrust into your cares. Lord, sa mga nakikinig ngayon, whatever desires they have, Help them to delight in you because delighting in you uh, makes uh, our desires no? uh, a sweet aroma sa iyo. And you are granting our desires uh, having been delighted you know, with our lives. Maraming maraming salamat Lord for today and trusting our lives to you for your presence, provision, and protection. We continue to manifest in our individual lives. So, praying for blessings also for my loved ones, my in-laws, uh, John sa Mercedes, and aunties and uncles and friends, pamilya uh, datun alina patalun, and other parts of the world. God bless you, and more of God's goodness and faithfulness. Every good and perfect gift that comes from above will continue to manifest and be in your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Ayan, mga partners, have a blessed Thursday everyone. God willing, getting connected with you again tomorrow morning. Same time, same page dito sa ating programa. Morning prayer and praise. Streaming live 7 to 8 a.m. dito sa Japan. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. God bless you. It's time to go. Para sa benediction, ito, let us pray. And now the love of God and the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the communion of the Holy Spirit will be with us all for the glory and honor of our God and Father, both now and forevermore. Amen and Amen. Well, mga partners, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo. God willing, getting connected with you again tomorrow morning. God bless. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, si Pastor Gilbert Pakaba Kamakob Missionary dito sa Japan. God bless you and bye for now.